Hi guys, this is Ashwin again, uh, and uh, I got my hands on a Samsung Galaxy S2, the i9-100. Uh, so I decided to root the phone and make a tutorial on that. So uh, let's go ahead and root this phone. The first thing you need to do uh, when you're going to root uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is hit the menu button and hit settings. Scroll down hit about phone and go down you see kernel version over here and uh, let it just focus Give it a... okay uh, if you can you see the kernel version down here and uh, you see i91100 xwkl1 you need to make a note of those last four letters X W K L one, and that's pretty much all you need need to do with the phone at this moment. So I'm gonna put the phone away. You need to click link number one, and that will get you to this thread on XDA uh, forums. So uh, over here, scroll down and select uh, any. CF root any CF root link which matches those last two letters in this case with this phone it was KL1 so I'm gonna do a quick search for KL1 on this page and there is KL1 so I'm gonna go ahead click on it and I'm gonna download this so make sure you save it in a folder which is easily accessible and I've saved that and I've go back to this uh, same forum go on top and you'll find something called Odin O-D-I-N I will also directly link this file but uh, it's on the same forum so you can also get it from here Odin 3 v 1.85.zip so click on it and save it over here I've already done that so I'm not gonna do it again so uh, and now go move on to link 3 and uh, this will take you again to this forum, this thread on the same forum and on this thread you will first find insecure kernels forget about it you don't have to download this keep scrolling down till you find original kernels over here find the kernel that matches you so this was xwkl1 so it's over here and I'm gonna download that so save that as well so go ahead pause the video at this point get these three files downloaded and saved and once you're done I'm done with that get back to the video okay guys uh, the beeping that you're gonna hear is my backup power my electricity electricity is gone so bear with me so now that these three files have been downloaded uh, right click on Odin 3 and extract it uh, and the next thing I'll go ahead right click on uh, the CF root file extract that too okay so the zip file is gonna give you a .tar file now right click on Odin and run it as administrator so guys before we move any further just make sure that you have Samsung keys software installed on the computer before you go ahead with this in case you don't have it I will have that link posted as well okay guys now make sure that your phone is not connected to the USB right click on Odin run as administrator click on PDA and select the DAR file that we unzipped Make sure you don't mess with any of the controls over here and make sure that repartition is not checked. It will not be checked by default but just double check just to be safe. And now we're gonna put our phone into download mode. Okay, so make sure you press the home, the menu key, I mean the home key and the down volume button. Make sure you hold the down volume button and not the up volume key you have to press menu down volume and the power button and hold them
and now your phone will boot into the download mode okay this is what you're supposed to see okay alright now go ahead and connect the USB cable back up alright okay now go ahead and press volume up to continue and you can see downloading do not turn off target and over here you can see a local bar I mean the local background for this all you have to do is hit start and uh, this is what you're gonna see on your phone and there's not there's not really much you're gonna do after this just wait for the phone to reboot and now when you reboot you see this ye the yellow uh, triangle icon over there uh, your phone is actually rooted right now but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do something to get rid of that so uh, once the phone is back up I'll let you know what we need to do okay guys the phone is back up right now I'm gonna hit apps and you can see that super user and CWM are installed I'm gonna tap super user hit OK and it loads up so the phone is rooted okay we now close Odin uh, we go ahead uh, remember we got this .tar file we go ahead and extract it again and you will get a Z image file now uh, cut that file or copy it go into the i9100 over here double click on it and just paste it once that's done close it and, uh, and now uh, what do you say pull out the USB cable hold the down button uh, menu menu button and the power button we are going to go back into download mode again now reconnect the USB cable and open up Odin again select PDA and uh, before you do that just extract the uh, the original zip that we downloaded extract it here so you get another TAR file now go into Odin and select the original.tar and now hit start again now again you gotta wait for the uh, Galaxy S2 to boot up so as you can see there was no yellow warning symbol displayed while booting up in this time so the phone is booted back up let's go back in and see we still have super user and CWM so at this point of time you can just unplug the, power, uh, the USB cable uh, tap CWM allow super user hit OK now go in and hit flash kernel and we've got the Z image file over here the one we actually put in to the uh, what do you say the phone memory so hit the Z image file and hit flash now as you can see the phone is booting up there's no yellow uh, warning icon your counter is not gonna increase well that's it for now if you have any questions leave it in the comment section or send me a message I'll make sure I get back to you as quick as possible uh,
in the meantime if you like the video hit like mm. hit subscribe you can follow me on twitter at cursed forever that's c-u-r-s-e-d the number four e-v-a once again thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day bye bye now